Hey guys, it's Phoenix. Today I want to share with you guys a tutorial on how to import custom sounds into your Minecraft world. Over the last 90 minutes or so, I have been trying everything and finally I figured out what the problem was. So you're watching Audacity record my voice right now. Let me just switch over to the song. This is part of a remixed song by Cash Warrior, one of the musicians on the team. And he remixed one of the very first gym themes from the first map. Alright, I'm gonna stop it there. If you want to catch the whole theme, you should probably follow my live streams. But, let me uh, show you guys how to actually import this into your Minecraft world. I had a lot of trouble with it, and I'm gonna share with you my experience right now. So here we go. So, we have the two themes inside of the resource pack. If you don't know how to make a resource pack, you can look some tutorials online. I've made a few videos on it too, not specifically, but you can watch my uh, how to draw anything into Minecraft video to see how to create a resource pack. But within your resource pack, you need to have a sounds folder and preferably a subfolder to store all your categorized themes in there so you don't want to have everything too messed up. So you have your organized folder and outside of the sounds folder you need a sounds.json file. This is uh, where everything went wrong for me. You cannot have, apparently, capital letters in your sound files as well. So this applies not only to textures and models but also sounds. This took me an hour and a half to figure out what you need to do is, if you follow the code here, uh, which is just the name of the command that you want to plug in, so it'll be slash play sound, demo begin. Apparently you can't have something like this. Can't have that. Took me an hour and a half, guys. Just a waste of time. <laughs> um, but just follow the, uh, the substructure here. This is the name you want to plug into the command. This is the name of the path. So themes forward slash demo begin. So let me just go back here. Sounds, themes, demo begin. Then stream true. What this means is it's just going to play directly from the folder. You don't want it to lag too much. So if you have a very long theme um, and you have this set to false, it will lag a little bit before it starts playing. Follow this structure here. Uh, and then you have the second file that I put in. Now, this is separated into two. Because with Pokemon themes, you have the beginning intro as you transition into the battle. And the second one here is when you want the theme to loop. So this is the looped part. The second one I'll be looping. The first one I'll just ignore. That's the first one that plays, but that's it. It won't loop. So to save that. So once that's done, simply go play sound, demo, begin, master, or music. It doesn't matter. So if you have the slider on for music, it will play. If you have it off, it won't play. Uh, so just customizability, and then 9999, so it's going to be all over the place, so it's not going to fade out once you move away from the origin of the music, then press enter, and it'll play. Okay, so once that's complete, you can play main, and that will be the theme that loops. So basically, you can have a scoreboard detect how long a song is, and then once it reaches the end of the piece, you can set it back to zero, and it'll loop over again. So you can use the stop sound at P, uh, or you can use stop sound uh, at P and then the source, so music and the sound specifically, to stop that sound, and then you can loop it back. So just do the simple slash play sound again. So very simple looping, but I think the, the main idea here is how to add custom sounds, because apparently you can't have capital letters. That was my bane when I try to uh, to model the other stuff as well, the, uh, the menus. So just a lesson for me and a tutorial, obviously for all of you guys who have been asking me uh, how to add custom sounds. This is obviously just uh, Pokemon music, but it can apply to anything. Thank you all for watching. If you learned something, leave a like, subscribe for more creative content or Pokemon, relevant Pokemon videos. Take care.